The news is all about the war in Gaza. There's a big war in the north of Israel. It's been going on since the massacre in October. We're going to tell you how bad it is with statistics. Oh, boy. Now you're going to know why Israel's on fire. Speaking about what's going on in Israel, there's a big war in the north, the northern part of Israel, uh, up by Lebanon and Syria. I've been on both those borders. I've gotten tours at the fence. I've been right to the Lebanese border. I've been right to the Syrian border. After the massacre on October 7th by Hamas in the south of Israel, immediately Iran attacked Israel to show support, and they did it through their proxy army, Hezbollah, which means party of God. I don't know what the God is that they worship, but it's the God that <laughs> wants mass death. Iran funds them, trains them, arms them, and directs them. This is all about killing as many Jews as possible. Part of Iran's goal, I mean, among other goals, is to the complete eradication and, and slaughter of everybody in Israel. Check out these numbers. This is what's not making headlines in America. First, let's look at the number of munitions fired by Hezbollah per day into Israel. Through June 20th, last week, 44 rockets a day are landing in Israel, blowing up buildings and setting fire. And it started October 8th, and every month you see how much destruction there is. The north of Israel is completely abandoned. Why? Because everything's on fire, and there's just too many rockets coming in to get knocked down. Now check this out. Here's another interesting statistic. This is the daily number of drones launched into Israel. 92 this month through last week, through the 20th. And those drones carry bombs. And they're very hard to hit because they're small. And they can maneuver when a rocket's coming to knock them down. So if you were Israel, what would you do? How would you deal with that? Well, I can tell you before you answer what Israel's planning to do, they're moving armor to the border right now. And all the European countries are evacuating their citizens for fear of a war coming. And nobody is telling Hezbollah or Iran to stop it. The UN is evacuating and the Europeans are evacuating and the Israelis have already evacuated because the north of Israel is burning to the ground. But you don't know about that, average American, because it's just yeah. not on the news. Yeah, I saw a clip about that. I did because, you know, I like to look at, you know, what's happening in Israel. I look at it quite often. And they're saying that this escalating. And the reason what let me before I say that the reason why I pay attention to it, because Benjamin Netanyahu came out and said that Joe Biden, this White House, the Democrats are holding back arms that already been passed by Congress from Israel. And then the White House had to come out and do a statement, and said, OK, yeah, they first they tried to deny it. Then they had to admit it. That's grounds of impeachment against Joe Biden because he's holding it back. But then he started talking. They started talking about all of the attacks at northern Israel. It's Hezbollah, correct? Yes. Hezbollah shooting rockets into Israel. So now they have this front down the south of them where they're still having to deal with Hamas. And then you have these idiots in the United States of America trying to protect Hamas. They're carrying signs saying Hamas are freedom fighters. We support Hamas, which is a terrorist organization. Now Israel is having to deal with these idiots in the northern of Israel. It's Hezbollah, true. Hezbollah, which yes. actually Hezbollah has a huge army. Hezbollah oh, has a yeah. lot of military. Hezbollah has been, been funded by Iran for many, many years, and they're all gearing up to try to attack Israel. And be honest with you, I think it's all planned. They've been planning this for a long time. They see that Israel, they don't have the resources because of what happened in the Gaza Strip, getting rid of Hamas. They're take, thinking in their minds, let's hit Israel from the north. And you know what, Barry? You know what it makes me think about? In the Bible, it tells us in the last days, there's going to be a war that's going to start, that's going to emanate from the Euphrates River, that's going to end up killing one third of mankind. Euphrates River is north of Israel. It runs right through Iran. Yep. I mean, so, I mean, are we there are we there? Because all these other nations, like you said, they're starting like, look, we they're all on high alert. If they continue, Israel won't have no choice but to defend themselves. Oh, they're, they're they're moving armor and tanks and air force and artillery. They've got to stop the attacks 
the north of Israel is literally abandoned. Towns are being yeah. burned to the ground, literally every day, every yeah. day.